Salutations. Welcome to Strategy and Analysis Centre for unique coverage of critical geostrategic issues. Today's briefing, Type 076 Assault Carrier, China's new amphibious capability. What do you get when you cross a small aircraft carrier with an amphibious assault ship? Perhaps China's suspected Type 076 Assault Carrier. So for today's briefing, some acronyms. Uh, we've already covered PLANS, People's Liberation Army Navy Ship. MCAT, Electromagnetic Catapult. Axial Deck, it's a straight deck, not angled. LHD, Landing Helicopter Dock. LHA, Landing Helicopter Assault. Think here of the USS America and USS Tripoli. UCAV, Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. And Catabar, Catapult Assisted Takeoff, but Assisted Recovery. So in mid-2020, talk began about a possible new Chinese amphibious assault ship that would have a, a floatable dock like an LHD, an MCATS and a restorwise like a Catabar aircraft carrier. The source for these characteristics was a leaked request for proposal document in Chinese, of course. Now, should this vessel be delivered as suggested, it would represent a unique vessel and capability. Nothing further has come to light since this story initially broke, so we don't have a lot to work with. In terms of what a Type 076 might look like, the best examples to start the discussion are the USS America and the Chinese Type 075 classes. So here we have the USS America LHA. Um, when it is in an aircraft carrier mode, it's called a lightning carrier. It has no floatable dock. Its uh, focus is on um, aviation operations, and you'll notice it has deck edge lifts, uh, one on the port and one on the starboard. And the Chinese Type 075 LHD. Uh, it does have a dock, and uh, basically a large rectangle placed on the top of the hull. But this gives very good usable deck area, so it's actually a, a good design. But to these examples we've got here, we'd need to add a flight deck that can facilitate fast jet flight operations utilising catapults and arrest wires. And note these are both axial deck ships. Since mid-1950s, navies with aircraft carriers changed the deck layout from axial to angle flight decks. Now the angle flight deck allows for concurrent launch and recovery operations and allows aircraft failing to connect with the arrestor cables to abort the landing without risk to other parked or launching aircraft. Uh, the last time we've seen an axial deck aircraft carrier with catapults and arrestor wires was in the late uh, 1950s in the Royal Navy. So with an axial flight deck, the pro is, well the cost is cheaper to build than a carrier with an angle flight deck. The con is that the flight ops, the sortie rate will be lower. But if the fast jets on this hypothetical vessel are primarily for initial strike, then an axial deck layout is okay. Now UCAVs are mentioned in the RFP document. And if primarily for initial strike, uh, then as I say, uh, the actual deck configuration is, um, is appropriate. In an operational example where the high sortie rate, sortie rate is not critical, after the initial uh, fast jet sorties, the 076 would switch to LHA mode, utilising its helicopters and air cushion vehicles. Now, could you build an LHA with an angle flight deck? Yes, of course you could. And the pro would then be obviously higher intensity of flight ops and the con being increased cost. And what about the air wing for this potential assault carrier, the Type 076? Well, UCAVs are mentioned in the RFP, as is a 30-ton aircraft lift. The benefit of UCAVs, stealthy, expendable to a point where there's no human there, and more internal volume for payload, given an overall size in terms of comparison to a manned aircraft. 
Now, China already has the G11 stealth UCAV. Um, this would, of course, need to be modified for carrier operations. But this is essentially uh, the UCAV that would be um, employed on the Type 076 if, if uh, built. But are there other options? Well, some commentators have scoffed at the likelihood of the, the J-35 or whatever the new stealth Navy aircraft would be designated for the, for the Chinese Navy. Uh, scoffed at the likelihood of J-35s on a future Type 076. I'd suggest that, you know, given what we know so far, um, it would be operationally unwise for the Type 76, 076 to not be able to operate the J-35s. Now, we know the J-35, or whatever it's going to be called, this new aircraft will exist and will be employed on the Catabar carriers. So the aircraft will already have been developed. And, and a comment on the MCATs, the electromagnetic catapults. At the weights we're talking about here, uh, up to 30 tonnes, the MCATs wouldn't need to be as powerful as those on Carrier 003. And see my earlier briefing on that uh, linked below. Well, why would China want such a capability of a, an assault carrier? A light Catabar aircraft carrier and LHD in one ship. Well, it's cheaper than building an actual Catabar carrier, yet providing some of the capability, i.e. strike through um, stealth aircraft. It would also represent uh, a more varied threat. You now, the one vessel uh, with catapult launch stealth fixed wing aircraft, helicopters and air cushion vehicles. It, it could mean that you wouldn't need an aircraft carrier for a particular operation. The stealth UCAVs and or J-35s on the Type 076 may be f uh, sufficient for a particular operation. It would also be a very useful addition to Plan 16 or 17, that's the Liaoning and Shandong, given their limited fixed wing capabilities. So uh, the Liaoning or Shandong uh, complemented by, say, one or two Type 076s would be a, a good force structure mix. Why not build small aircraft carriers? Uh, we'd have MCATs and helos for, for troop, uh, troop assault. Of course, there'd be no dock and it would most likely cost more and offer, offer more limited operational flexibility. Here we have um, uh, Charles de Gaulle as an example of a, a small aircraft carrier. So in summary, mm, perhaps we can call this Type 076 a landing carrier assault, an LRA. So two specific comments on this, um, on this uh, slide. For the America, this is for the USS America or even Tripoli. So they're configured for uh, aviation operations or primarily aviation operations and have no dock. Subsequent ships of the America class, starting with um, I think it's the Bougainville, will have a dock, but with the dock comes less capacity to support the aviation facilities. So, uh, and the 20 aircraft you see there, they're all um, F-35s. So it's a high number of reasonably large fixed wing aircraft and a small number of support helicopters when it's in lightning carrier mode. For the Type 076, obviously we don't know um, how large the hangar will be or even the deck size. Um, I would suggest somewhere in the vicinity of 30 aircraft, but with perhaps only 10 to 15 being fixed wing uh, or 10 being the UCAV uh, J-35s with the majority being, being helicopters. So what might this hypothetical Type 076 look like, bearing in mind that it will have MCATs and arrestor wires? Well, could it look like the USS America class, let's say from the Bougainville onwards, which does have a dock, uh, but then it would have less um, aircraft capacity, uh, but still with an axial, uh, axial deck? Well, could be like that. Could it be a USS America class 
in overall um, size, but with an angle flight deck, unlikely. Could it be a lengthened type 075, uh, which does have a dock, and with an angle flight deck? Possible. And when I say lengthened here, say perhaps a 20 metre plug um, placed, so extend its length from 237 to say 257, just as rough figures. Or could it be a lengthened type 075, obviously with its dock, maintaining its axial deck? Uh, and I would suggest with two MCATs, uh, it would be operationally unwise uh, to only have one. So I think this is the more likely um, uh, layout going forward. So here's, here's some thoughts on a hypothetical uh, Type 076 flight deck. Um, you see the EM catapults, uh, the... Uh, Uh, the blue arrows, uh, the blue rectangles are the jet blast deflectors, orange squares, obviously the deck edge lifts, and the blue lines there as the arrestor wires. So that's a uh, just a hypothetical layout of how it could work on a vessel of about 257 metres uh, long. So such a, such a ship, as we mentioned earlier, it would be Complementary or have good complementarity with the uh, Liaoning and Shandong, uh, depending on the mission, may be able to operate without a carrier and support. Offers greater operational flexibility. It's a full LHD plus a limited Caddo bar carrier. Removes the need for uh, the development of V Stoll um, or Stobol fixed wing aircraft. It's an evolutionary rather than a revolutionary step. And it's consistent with the approach that the Chinese Navy has shown so far in their carrier program when we look at carrier one, then to carrier two and carrier three. And indeed, some of the critical developments in this vessel would be marrying up the 075, which is already in service, with key technologies that would be tested on carrier 003, that being the MCATs and the new arrestor wires. So the assessment, if the Type 076 amphibious assault ship is constructed as suggested in the RFP, I assess it is likely that it will have an axial deck with a moderate degree of confidence. And its ability to operate manned fixed wing aircraft, for example, the J-35 or whatever the aircraft is called, I'd assess this is highly likely with a high degree of confidence. Uh, that concludes today's briefing. Uh, in a subsequent briefing, I'll look at future, the future of China's carrier program. Um, thank you for watching. Um, happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers. So please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, file a